And what, what were you hoping to get out of this today, personally? Uh, just a good workout, man. Get those scouts and coaches another look at me, you know, to see that I'm, you know, I'm a good fit as well, and just to come out here and not compete with anybody. You ran pretty well at the combine. What, how did you do today? Uh, I felt like I ran pretty good. I also kind of tweaked my hemi at the combine doing warm-ups. I felt like I didn't run my best, so I just wanted to come back out here, rerun it, and see if I can run a better time. Did you hear any of the numbers? Uh, somebody told me my fastest was a 445 and slowest was a 453. How exciting is this whole process as it gets closer to the draft and everything for you? It's very exciting, man. It's an honor and a privilege to first of all be in this situation. And, uh, you know, family excited, friends excited, and, you know, just waiting to see where is that come drafting. Are you following the other guys? I mean, how they're, how they're looking for the draft and the combine and things like that? Our teammates? Yeah, your teammates. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, me and Matt Elam, Jelani Jenkins, John Bostic, those guys, we're real, you know, strong friends and, you know, wishing the best of each other on. What do you think of the way Elam's approach this process? And I felt pretty good, you know, as a teammate. He's also like a brother to me. I felt like he handled the situation well, you know, and uh, went out there and competed. Did his job, and uh, as you can see, man, he's a top pro prospect. Did you bench again today? No, I didn't. Have to. Gosh, are you surprised at how Sharif Floyd's kind of skyrocketed through this process? Not at all. I mean, I knew from day one that Sharif was going to be impressive and be one of those guys that uh, be drafted pretty high due, due to his work ethic, you know, strong and how quick he is, his quickness. And uh, I mean, he's just all around guy, big athlete. Is he better the last couple of years than maybe his numbers indicated? Definitely. I mean, if you, if you look on film, you might not see crazy statistics, but you see good enough. But the way he dominates the line of scrimmage is like, you know, why this. Did you hear how much more effective he is at tackle when he's at his natural position than yes, yes, filling in the end? Definitely. You know, as far as, you know, him getting that push up front, stopping it, making our job easy on the back end, that's something we look for definitely as a safety. You know, no long runs broken in. Mm -hmm. They both, I mean, all of them, him and easily, those guys, they're out of the job. What's maybe something you've heard along this process that's made you optimistic about a draft from a team? I mean, has, there anything, has there a team told you anything that's kind of. Yeah. Oh, I mean, well, first of all, when teams, you know, put the, the film on, they always talk about me and Elam, and they like our energy, the way we communicate on the back end. Definitely this, this last year we had was very impressive. And, you know, they get to see, man, anytime you watch Elam, you also see me. So it's, it's definitely a, a great look. And uh, we're just willing to, you know, get the Gators involved and have us up there, man, at the top. What was it like having so many of you guys up there at the Combine together? Um, it felt good, man. Anytime you got a couple teammates, you can kind of chill around and, I feel like family and back home is always a good thing. What teams are you going to work out for? Uh, I'm not sure yet. I know uh, I met with San Fran a little bit yesterday, and uh, I'm still waiting for my agent to give me a call today and let me know.